So everybody always asking me, how is it working at Quicken Loans? Why don't you work there no more? I'm going to answer all that. It's a great job. It was a good job. How did I get hired there? Um, I was on Facebook. And I was um, in one of them employment groups. And I seen somebody ask, like, uh, what'd she say? She said, anybody looking to work at Quick and Lost, my job hire. I didn't even take it serious. Like, I'm just like, okay, yeah. She said, put your email. So I gave her my email and my name and whatever else they asked for. I think my phone number. My phone number, my name, and my email. A few days later... I realized I missed a call from um, what I thought was quick and loans. So I ended up reaching, and it was actually Aerotech, the temp service who hired through quick and loans. They located here in Southfield, Michigan. Um, the lady was really, really nice. She was probably the nicest recru recruiter I had working at Aerotech because I've worked a few other jobs there since then. But, um, she just told me what the job was it's gonna be data entry you know i was waitressing at ihop and i i was young i think i was 18 so i didn't really have no experience i was 18 or 19. i didn't have no experience at uh doing no type of business job i was used to working at food and dealing with customers all the time so I'm just telling her, yeah, I can do that, I can do that. She sent me a typing test. That was the first thing I had to do. I took the typing test and everything, uh, I did good. She, she was like, okay, we're going to schedule you for the um, the phone interview. Yeah, basically, she was going to call back another day and do the phone interview. I don't know why she didn't do it right then and there, but that was fine. So she ended up calling me, I think, the next day and did the phone interview. And she said I did great. She ended up uh, emailing me. What she say? She emailed me uh, a description of the job and told me this is what my interview was. At my in-person interview. Since I did good on the um, phone interview. So... Hmm. What happened? Oh, I'm thinking it's just a regular interview. She did. She prepared me. Like, she told me everything they going to ask. Everything about the company. She told me to research the company. So, I can mention stuff about it in the interview. I did just that. I did everything that she said because I really wanted this job. You know, I didn't even think that I would get a phone interview because I was only 19. Coming out of working at IHOP. I'm waitressing at IHOP, so... By the time I went to the interview, I found, when I got there, I found out that it was actually a group interview. So it was like six females. And we all uh, got asked questions at the same time. Like the same question that each person would talk. And then they go to the next person. And then one of the questions they asked us was, what do we know about the company? I forgot what I said, but I don't even remember. But... I know was that they was number one lender, online lender, lender online, and like the second one in the United States or something like that. I don't remember. So after that, the interview, I feel like it went great, you know. And then um, what happened? I left. My recruiter did tell me to call her right after I left. So as soon as I got in the car, so I called her like, yeah, the interview was great. She let me know that she was going to follow up with the person who interviewed us and get some feedback to see if I was going to move on in the next process. However, she ended up calling me that next day. She told me that the interview was okay, but I seemed a little shy. I mean, I am who I was at that point. I was a shy person, so... I was a little quieter than the other people may have been. I really only spoke when I was told to. And at the end when they said, if anybody have any questions, I didn't have any questions. See, at the time, I didn't know that that's a good key point when you go into a job interview is asking questions. Just any. 
they also gave us lunch. So, we got broke up in the groups. We did some activities. Um, overall, it was a good day. Ended up leaving. The next day, we were, I think we had to do a tour. Or we might have did it that day. However, uh, it was three weeks of training. I think we only did two weeks, though, because our trainer, she told us, like, this is a good class. Y'all doing good. Y'all just going to go get on the floor and start. I was ready because it was pretty easy. Uh, I was came in as a vendor analyst. With that position, I pretty much just had to verify people's homeowners insurance who was refinancing their homes because it was a refinancing side and a purchase team who dealt with people who was purchasing. After a few, after maybe two to three months, I moved to purchase, dealing with people who was purchasing homes. Uh, Mm, actually, I'll say about three months. Yeah, so three months. I moved to the people who was purchasing homes. Um, Because refinance was real easy. It was good. I had a really nice team leader. Her name was, say, Ashley Cirilli. She was really nice. Um, When I moved to purchasing, I got a new team leader. Her name was Amanda. She was cool, too purchase they end up moving me up the purchase because they said i was doing good and my numbers was real good i was just overall a good employee and regardless of what happened i would never take away that i worked so good and so hard for that company like this was the first job i had where i didn't want to miss no days of work i had a one-year-old at the time so if i missed work it was probably because he was sick or something I think he was in the hospital for a few days, and I missed like two days of work, and then other time I had the flu. I probably only missed three to four days my whole time working there, and I was there for 11 months. So, back to the timeline. When I moved to the purchase team, I stayed on that team for about four months. Purchase was good, but we always ran out of loans, so we used to work on the people and refinance loans. My numbers got good there quick too because it was just so easy to me and I wasn't focused on in the beginning when I first started I was focused on getting good numbers but then but then my team leader was talking to us no people like don't worry about your numbers it don't matter what y'all got just focus on learning everything so that helped me so much like once I gained the process and knew what to do my numbers just rose automatically and I always learned that nothing good will come easy. So, back to the timeline. On purchase for about three to four months, too. And then I was doing so good. They said, my uh, team leader, Amanda, she came to me. She was like, do you want to go to condos? I always heard condos was hard, like so hard. So... In my head, I wanted to say no, but I knew this was an opportunity for me to improve in the company. So I'm like, yeah, I'll go. You know, she took me and like two other people on my team or in the area to go to condos. The training for condos, see, when I moved to uh, purchase from refinancing, we did not have to do no training for real. Maybe if we had to uh, just look at other people and watch them sit with them and shadow them. But when it was time for condos, we had to actually go to a whole nother training class. And I think that was like three weeks. But she also cut that short because she said we had it. Now, condos, I was scared because that was so hard to me. But after like the first week, I got it. It just started being easy. We had to do a lot more with condos. So like with refinancing and purchasing we were just verifying homeowners insurance where with condos we was doing that and obtaining so many documents dealing with litigation processes calling lawyers it was a lot so um i don't think the pay the pay did not increase so when i started there it was 11 50 it was 11 50 an hour uh but after my second month there, we started getting bonus checks. My first bonus check was like $350. We got a bonus check every month, except like two months out the year. They don't do bonus checks. Even in one month, I think it was two bonus checks, though. 
So it played out for at the time eleven fifty was good money to me because I was coming from waitressing and I really didn't care for that job. So um what happened? What was I saying? Yeah, on condos our pay did not increase. It was still eleven fifty. Um I was there for maybe three to four months again. But so let's say eight six. I was there at the company for a total of eleven months. It was literally about to be a year. So I say I was there for another three months. And the last two months, so it was like June of two thousand and seventeen. Um it was June of 2017. We ended up having a meeting. Well, our leader, I had a leader. Her name was uh, Ayana. I can't forget it. Before her, it was another leader. So she was just fairly learning everything we was learning and coming on the condos. Like, she literally trained with us because she was coming from the same area we was coming from. But she was a team leader in that the whole time being there. So she didn't know more than us because we dealt with it more than her. Because she was just being a team leader. So, uh, what happened? Oh, she kept telling us, like, it's going to be some good news coming soon, blah, blah, blah. So, everybody just getting happy. We didn't know what was happening. About a month before I left there, we had a meeting. No, not even a month. Yep, a month. We had a meeting. They told us that our pay was going to go from eleven fifty to seventeen fifty. Mind you, this is everybody who was employed through Aerotech. Like, they don't like to, well, at the time, they didn't like to hire people direct. They like to hire you through Aerotech, the temp service, to see if you're going to do good and they're going to keep you. So, uh, we always told we about to make seventeen fifty an hour, but we won't get bonus checks no more. Okay, that's fine. seventeen fifty. that's good. We was all happy. Um... I think that pay started a week after that meeting. So, after that, everything was still going good, you know. I, um, the bonus checks for condos, though, before they ended, they was so much better. They were so higher than what I was getting on refinance and purchase because I was getting, like, $500 bonus checks from refinance and purchase. But condos, my only had got two bonus checks because they ended. Both the bonus checks was seven hundred and the other one was eight fifty. That's good for a month, like extra money, just a bonus, just off your numbers. That's what it was going off in your quality. So I was real happy, you know. Seventeen fifty was going good. The checks was coming out to be like six hundred something dollars a week. So, uh what happened? My last week of being there. I'm literally sitting at my desk, and we watching people get called in to go into meetings. Like, all around, we hearing, like, certain people got hired in. It was maybe three people that was through Aerotech, like all of us. And it was maybe 500 of us that I heard all over the company with Aerotech at the time. Maybe 500 of us, so we, seen, we heard a, a few people get hired in. So I'm the whole time I'm there, me and my team leader, Ayana, we cool. Like she even telling me her personal business. You know, I'm thinking we good. She keeps telling me like, yeah, you gonna get hired in, don't worry. It was almost a year and by a year they hiring people in that they keeping or they letting you go. So of course I was getting worried. My number's good, I'm getting promoted twice. Why am I not hired in yet? And she even without me saying something, she was telling me I was getting hired in. So, like, me and a few other people. About three weeks after we got a pay increase. So, three weeks in after getting that pay bonus increase to seventeen fifty, we start noticing people dropping like flies. People always got let go of because they was doing wrong stuff or just weren't coming to work. Or, you know, they probably deserved it. But we start noticing people who usually don't do nothing wrong leaving. So we just like, okay, I'm getting scared. Somebody else 
somebody I'm cool with um, ended up telling me, like, uh, my team leader told me that they let people go because they got sued by doing some fraudulent loans or something like that. I don't know how true that was. I did see that they got sued for a lot of money, but whatever. Story goes on. Um, the next day, that same girl, she came and told me, like, that same day, the girl, she came and told me, like, yeah, I got hired in today. You know, my team leader um, offered me to get hired in. It's a process, you know, but basically she getting hired in. Mind you, she had only got promoted once. So she like, I know you're going to get hired in because I done got promoted twice. So I'm like, okay. Time goes on. I come back to work that next day. No, this is the same day she got hired in. I did all my work that day, all the loans that I had, that I was assigned. I did everything. You know, it was around the time we kept running out of loans around that time because it was just slow. So I did everything right that day. Ended up leaving, going home, maybe 5 o'clock. No, nah, we got off work at 6 o'clock, so I got home around 6.30. No, I probably got home around 7 because we had to drive to a parking lot then take a shuttle bus to the job. And the shuttle bus took us back to our cars and we drove home. So I got home around 7. So around 7.30 that day, June, nope, no, nope, no, nope, July 27th. It was June or July 27th of 2017. I believe July. I got a call. Or maybe John, whatever. I got a call. Okay, I got a call from Aerotech. And I'm just scared. Like, why is they calling me this late? Hi, Lauren. Um, it's such and such calling from Aerotech. I just want to thank you for your assignment with Quick and Loans. But it's come to an end. We don't need you anymore. I'm like, what? She like, yes, um... The position is overstocked or whatever she said. I'm like, okay. We got off the phone. I cried so hard. So, 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 so hard. Like, my heart was broken. I have never had a heart broke like that. Like, my heart was so hurt. Like, I loved that job so much. Like, I was so mad. So mad. I even sent emails out to people. Like, uh I, I sent emails out I can't even show y'all because it's on the phone I'm on right now maybe I upload if I got them but the emails was terrible I should never sent them out but I was so heartbroken like don't do me like that I'm doing everything right I've never got in trouble there ever I never got in trouble the whole time being there so I'm just thinking like why is this happening so a few people started texting me from the job like did Earl Tech call you? I'm like, yeah. You know, I'm thinking it's just me they call, but no. Everybody I know they call, except for three people, literally. A lit, literally three people in that area did not get called to get let go of because they was getting hired in. I just could not understand for the life of me how they can do that to somebody, literally. Like, this people have jobs. Because they had bills to pay. They got kids. I had a kid. I had bills I had to pay. I gave my all to that. I literally gave my all to that job. Hold on. I was coming 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. Some Saturdays. I even worked a few Sundays. They rarely work Sundays, but when they needed to help. And, yeah, some days we had to work to 7 or 8.30 because it was our late day. So, I was so hurt, like, and still it was rumors going around, like, they did this because they got sued, and, you know, they had to cut people off. And I always had hurt, even when I got hired there, people was telling me, like, be careful because quick and long, just be letting people go, they don't care, and they don't care. However... I went on Facebook that day and the next day. I started seeing so many posts of people who worked there that I didn't even know some of them. They was just getting shared. Like, 
this with Kirk Cologne still to you, blah, blah, blah. They know I got a kid. You know, they did not care. And I just think that overall working there was a good job because it was a really good environment because it was always positive. It wasn't no negativity. We got paid to go volunteer at places to help out throughout the community. Um, eight hours. We got paid eight hours. But the other hours we did, we just got excused from work to go do it. We didn't get paid for the rest. So it's just a lot of positive stuff about the company. But this particular part, how they can just have somebody working there and let you go. I understand you do a temp. But if that's the case, warn us. I had to finish on my other phone. So, yeah. However, I do know the only reason they gave us that pay increase was so that we they could have a reason for us to sign a new contract to save their sales in the end. I don't think it's Aerotech. For Aerotech is a great temp service to work for. Wonderful. But Quicken Loans, on the other hand, they're filed for that. But other than that, it was a good company. They really was. I guess they, it was a lot of talk that they was getting in trouble. It was a lot of talk that they was getting in trouble for um, doing the wrong appraisal amount. Something illegal. I don't even remember because it's been two, two years now. However, when I started working there... I did not know how to bake nothing. I ended up starting trying to bake and do stuff. And now I just feel like everything happens for a reason. Ever since then, I might have got a few jobs from Aerotech. Like two jobs maybe after that. Because, of course, I wasn't a pro baker. I just started off doing cupcakes, chocolate covered strawberry. And it all worked out because now I make some bomb Cakes. It all works out. Yeah, so this ain't the bash quick and loans or nothing like that. Just to let people know, though. I mean, it's the truth. People did tell me, but I didn't take it serious because I wanted that job. And I just feel like anybody should try to work there. Just be prepared, though. Like, I did my best. I gave them everything in me. I missed out on so many, like, family and life activities and moments because of them. Cause I didn't want to call off work because I love going to work just for them to do me like that. It was fine. Now look at my baby.